Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna get this out of the way extremely quick. This is not about me quitting. I'm not quitting or anything like that because I know somebody's probably gonna jump to the conclusion thinking that I'm just quitting the game altogether. To be honest, it's just the burnout that I wanna talk about. Like, how burnt I am on this game is incredibly wild. There's many problems with this game. Before I decided to make this video, I streamed on YouTube to get other people's opinions before I started bashing a lot of the wrongs inside of this game I my upload schedule it man, it's getting worse and worse like as time progresses, i upload even less and the burnout from the game is just immense for me nothing inside of the game really excites me it's like it just doesn't feel the same it doesn't it does not feel the same at all this is editing that ready to and i actually forgot to mention ironically enough after this video i do have one more video to release and then it's probably back to radio silence at this point whatever i do is gonna sound like excuses anyway i don't i don't truly despise this game there are some things that I don't like about it. One of them is not being allowed to switch my character whenever the hell I want to. The other is Twitter and TikTok community. And finally, the decisions that the devs make because they make some horrible decisions. They are incredibly stingy and every update just feels so dry. Again, I don't hate this game. I just hate what they're doing with the game. This isn't about me. Oh, I'm gonna quit Genshin Impact and start playing Genshin again like two days later. Like hell, I even want to try the new abyss that's gonna be coming out this is a little bit different i don't usually make videos like this and i honestly never want to make a video like this ever again i've been on this game since closed beta 2 i played pretty much almost all of the betas except for closed beta 1 getting on this game for hours and hours i didn't mind it you know trying to gain as much power as i possibly can was the best part of it all i went for a hot waifus and power that's literally all i went for because my goal was to dominate everything in Inside of the game. Everything that the game threw at me, I wanted to be able to dominate. Obviously, while they keep adding harder bosses and whatnot into the game, it's fun going all out, using as much power as you possibly can to win inside of a game and still have a little bit of struggle because it's some kind of challenge. But that's just me personally. I know everybody isn't going to think the same. They're just going to think that I'm just some sweaty try hard or something like that. But I just enjoy a challenge. Even in casual games, I would sometimes like a challenge. Because just constantly winning and winning and winning and winning, it gets repetitive. I've pretty much beaten the entire game. There's like nothing for me to do. I've done all the challenges that I wanted to do. All of the fun ideas that I've had, I've pretty much done them. Even then, even if I were to come up with ideas now, it's not going to get pushed out because it's not a four idiots video. So my motivation to even try my hardest to come up with a new video idea is just down. Even if I were to use like four star characters, I can still load through everything inside of the game it's like if you have the right artifacts and you have the right team comps nothing inside of the game matters even if you use the most odd team comp possible you can still dominate inside of the game i find that really boring it's like i i definitely regret spending all of that time in resin trying to gain as much power as i possibly can getting the best artifacts that i possibly can i've gotten a lot of artifacts with 30 percent crit damage on it i still barely have any crit rate but i crit a lot Abyss is always a joke. Even when they add the most annoying bosses, I can still kind of one-shot them or one-phase them. Except for obvious forced-phased bosses. Some of the stuff inside of the game just doesn't hit as hard. Some people still have the mindset of it's going to get better next patch. And I don't even know how people can still have that mindset. And I don't know how a lot of people can be okay with Mahoyo fucking over the community numerous of times. Considering what I see on Twitter, it's kind of understandable why they ignore a lot of the community. So, I'm not gonna bash everybody else who still enjoys the game. Some people that enjoys the game don't even play it on a daily basis. They usually play it like every other day. And some people plays it like once every three to four months. I mean, like I'd upload on my second channel, but I literally don't play anything else at the moment. And I haven't been playing anything else like that besides Osu. I've just been licking circles. If Genshin comes up with something that I obviously think is fun, then I'll try to make a video on it or try to come up with an idea. Keyword try. To. Nothing they're doing is making me excited in the slightest. Who the actual fuck wants to have an event where you go take pictures of shit or collect balloons? Why Why would you want to do that? The events are garbage. The maps are kind of sort of garbage. There's no point in worrying about, you know, who's going to be a strong character and who's not going to be a strong character anymore because they're not even adding in game. Everything just feels numb. And again, I don't hate the game. I just hate what they're doing with the game. Valorant, I hate the game, but I actually think
think the community is funny. Like, the people on the game is funny. Fortnite, I despise the game and the community. Every time they update Genshin, it's just, oh, wow, they added so-and-so. It's content for, like, two minutes, and then it's just completely dry for me. The story, I don't really care about that much either. They add new story, like, once every few years. To the point where, when they do release new story, I forget what the hell is even going on in the first place. I used to get every single character inside of the game, make a video on that character, and I can barely even do that because it started to get so repetitive of just fighting the same three bosses. And even when I go fight bosses, they die pretty easily or too fast. Not really that challenging. All the open world enemies die pretty fast too. The Scaramouche boss, I was actually pretty excited for because I thought it was going to be an extremely tough battle, but it is an incredibly boring and free. It's not challenging in the slightest. You can even see when was the last time I actually made a video on a brand new character. I haven't even made a video on Sino and I got Sino. I haven't made a dedicated video on Kusanali and I love Kusanali. Another issue is if I were to ask for harder stuff, it's just cut down to, ah, you're a well, so on and so forth. You're a well. Of course, it's easy for you. That makes me kind of upset and annoyed because, again, you can literally get by in this game by using the most basic team comps possible. It's not that complicated. People just do not know how to build. That's something I think would be cool, though, is if they added, like, a raid mode or abyss co-op, which is technically raid. Say if you had, like, eight different people inside of the game, you know, because four, four for each floor. You got four people for chamber one. You got four people for chamber two. That way, you have eight whole different people inside of the game. I don't know what the rewards would be inside of abyss, but personally, I think that would be very fun. I can make a few videos off of that. They just update it every now and then. You don't even have to add a bunch of hard stuff inside of the game. You can add fun and co-op stuff too. I'd much rather that than sitting here collecting pictures or taking selfies or some boring shit like that. I, I really don't want to play balloon collecting simulator. Even if I were to use a one element team, I can still blow through the game anyway. If I were to use all electro, I could win. All geo, probably fucking not. I'll, no, I don't think I will. Mainly because I don't even have geo units built like that and I kind of don't want to waste my time doing it. I guess when you're playing a game a lot, it's expected to get burnt out, but personally, I would say that I got burnt out in Genshin a lot faster than I thought I would. Coming up with the unique ideas is hard. Having fun inside of the game is hard. It's not like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna quit Genshin. It's it's nothing like that. Even if I did quit Genshin, I have no idea where I would go anyway. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you didn't, take your anger out on the like button and sub button. I'll see you next time. <laughs>